And like lean and make sure you shake off. <laughs> <laughs> but am I lying? Yo, I ain't gonna lie, he right, yo. Listen, I wanna welcome everybody back to the show. We over here talking about a little Patties, bit of nigga. Haitian patties. Yup. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanna point out. Actually, type quote of the week, he spelled it wrong. <laughs> what do you do? He spelled the quote of the week wrong. Quote? Said quote. Quote. <laughs> what I put? He put Q O U T. I did? No, but <laughs> see. The fans can't hear that, but it is what it is. I'm out here spell checking him, bro. <laughs> I'm out here. <laughs> yo. <laughs> yo. Yo. <laughs> Oh man, no bullshit, today man. someone hit me one of those, like, they didn't know who it was to read the word, and I was like, I said it, I just looked at the man, just disrespectfully, like, you didn't know how to say that word, like, you couldn't, couldn't sound it out, my man. <laughs> Yo, no bullshit. It was peak, peak, <laughs> peak interest. It's a peak, your interest, I was like, you couldn't sound Wait, out. And he gonna sound it out. He was like, piak. <laughs> my man. I, I looked serious? at him like, hmm, this is weird, like, what do I... How do I address this? But no um, bullshit, man. Like, yo, I, I don't know. Like, I, I don't know if you guys ever did it, but like, um, do you ever correct somebody if you don't like? If you don't even know the word they're saying, you just let them finish their their conversation. <laughs> like, did you ever correct them, nigga? Like, yo, you'll, you'll say something, you'll say like, you'll say a word, and you're like, I never heard. I don't know. I'm gonna let it ride. It sounded like, good, though. Yeah, yeah. It sounded good. And you're like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Like, oh, then, like, didn't you tell him at the end? Nigga, nah, yo, I, that's nah, what's nah, up, yo, I'm like, yo, I'm like, 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 damn, that's that's yo, nah, you know, generic answers. That's crazy. No, that's crazy. That's crazy, bro. They said, what, what? And then that's when you go there Google and shit. You're like, what are you talking about? I'm sexing me. You got like someone sexing you. Right? And you're like, yo, um. You ever let somebody go off for five minutes and be like, yo, what the fuck are you just talking <laughs> yeah, about? Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's like the, the worst. Because you actually listened to that shit for five minutes and you just was like, yo, what's up? What, what the fuck? Like, what, what's <laughs> the fuck? Where are we, we going, going with this? Like, <laughs> like, exactly. But yeah, we're uh, so that's my ah. Uh, should you just stop them? Just be like, yo, man, I don't <laughs> care. Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's, let's just, just stop, stop for a second, please. Like, let's just not go on anymore. I don't know, man. Like, it's, this is so funny, man. It's funny, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, feel, I feel guilty when you see it hurt the person, though. So like, oh, oh, shit. I know, oh, right? Um, <laughs> you're like, dang it. He wasn't Oh, when you, you, yeah, when you, yeah, he said, oh, no. Oh, no, no, right. no, 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 Man, listen, I do want to welcome everybody back on the check-in, man. We back in the building, man. One three. I think it's three. One three. To the end. I think it says Just yell out random shit. Right, nigga. Six eight. Six four. What the fuck is going on? Welcome back, baby. Yo, nigga. Welcome back, baby. Yo. Baby. Yo, I didn't with the extendo word. Say, yo, what up, baby? <laughs> he trying to make it sound bad, like, yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? Uh, my man, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, man. It's, man, how was y'all week, man? How was y'all week, man? Uh, went to a wedding in the cave. Hey. <laughs> you don't sound so excited. It was, it was, it was popping. I ain't gonna lie. It was a good time. Was yeah. it a white wedding, black wedding, Spanish wedding? Um, Caucasian wedding? Caucasian and Haitian. Oh, what a mixture. Wow. Was, um, yeah, definitely, definitely. When yeah. you say Caucasian, do you mean like Irish? Like European? Or like white American? Maybe Irish, maybe Italian. Who okay, knows? okay, Italian. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, her dad was cutting a rug out there. She dabbed him up though? Dad, yeah, his <laughs> name is Mike. Okay, he's lit. Yo, I dabbed him up. He's like, yo, he was like this. He was like, bro. <laughs> you know, he was a little drunk. He was like, bro. <laughs> And then like pulled me close, and I'm like, it was like that weird pull close, cause you know, you know when you dab, yeah. you know, you go here, he go there. Leave it it was like that pull close, but we're like right here. And then after that, I'm like, I don't know if I should look him in the eye. And I just, so I'm I'm like, do that. No, so I'm over here like just looking at my ashy knuckle. Then he's like, <laughs> then he's like, bro, you, you didn't think that an Italian kid could cut a fucking rug? And I'm like. All right, Clint, and he's wood like the hell. What's wrong? Nigga said, like, all right, you get When you knew he was cutting the rug. I ain't gonna lie, he was, he was fucking busy. it up. He was like, getting busy. Like, when you look back at that, whatever, you go, like, you know what? That's My the man guy. Mike, 
was one of the coolest pops I've ever met. Shout out to Mike. Mike, Mike was I, definitely doing this. Shout thing. out to Mike. Shout out to Lexi and Johnny on their beautiful wedding, man. The water was, oh man, it's right by the water. It was a beautiful thing, man. Damn, you had to breathe. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Damn. You had the way. How was the food? That's what I go for. Food, food, food yeah. was lit. The food, food and the dessert got to be on point. Food was pretty lit. Does it really got to be on point? Oh, it has to be. Well, they, had a lot of, they had a lot of, um, Appetizers. That's Ooh, what they did. The they hors did, the they hors did, they did nice. bad appetizers, and of course they had to have barbecue joints. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Stay my shirt by accident, so I just rocked the, <laughs> rock the, the blazer the whole night. You know, so you know when you stay there, you gotta rock the blazer the whole damn yeah. night. I'm over here. Yeah. Yeah. I got both buttons buttoned while I'm sitting down. <laughs> yeah, I'm over here like. They're like, why don't you unbutton it? <laughs> like, you, you look uncomfortable, bro. Yeah. No, I'm sure. no. I had to get mad drunk to get comfortable to have me like, okay, everyone can see my stage now. Exactly. Like, oh, once you're on the dance floor, you get a bit, the lights got a little dim, so yeah. you don't even care. It depends on what color shirt you got. The red though. sauce on a white shirt. <laughs> oh, no. No, I ain't gonna lie. I was working on it all damn day, dog. <laughs> got the is... soda water, trying to find wow. people that had the freaking stupid the tie 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 in. I'm over here dipping in water. Daddy. Now I'm dipping it in my freaking gin and tonic. I'm drinking the gin and tonic. I'm dipping it, drinking the gin and tonic. Feeling like a nut ass nigga. Was it open bar? Was it? Oh, that's dangerous. That's that. See, that's that's was dangerous. It? Oh, no. it was it? No. And that's what you gotta appreciate the open bar weddings. But you're you right about the food, though. No, not every wedding has good food. Facts. That's what I'm saying. So I was gonna ask you guys. You guys normally prep before, like, or like if you ever get invited somewhere. I feel like I feel like anytime I get invited to a, like a, a like a function, nigga, I'm like, you know what? Just to be safe, let me just eat a snack. Exactly. Oh, nigga, like you, you know, you let me just eat the snack because yeah. you know when you get there, you're like, oh, I don't. Yeah. I don't eat bacon really? and they got bacon wrapped scallops. They get a little weird. Oh, they had those. Know, it was hey. I, I bet. It was hey. Like they six poles. But not, if the cake ain't right, that's when I kind of get offended. Yeah, I don't really fuck with the cake because I'm I'm gonna be drinking all night and I don't want to get the booty all crazy. Oh no, if the cake if the desserts ain't right, like that's because that's why I go to weddings. Honestly, no, it's, it's the cut of rub. So what you, you with the like cake or the pies? Oh, velvet. Pies, they have pies. They don't have pies at weddings. They don't. They don't have like. Nah, this ain't no luau. This is not Thanksgiving. Like this is not Thanksgiving. He's like you buy a cake. This is yo. I'm out of here. Yo, you really just said buy a cake. Welcome back, baby. Baby. No, they do have pies at some wedding. What wedding? What wedding that they have a pie, my G? I'm gonna find one. I'm gonna Google one for you. So take a picture at the next one you go to. Let us know. See, see, nigga, they got pie. Yo, I'm gonna make sure I go to. My way, they like, no, everyone stop what they're doing. Yeah. Put your plates down. You say, yo, I'm taking a picture. And now it's everybody. So if he had Wegmans acting like he had a wedding, <laughs> he already go every day. You need to. You need to be a sponsor, man. man. For real. Yeah. 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 Hey, Ash. Yeah. Hey, Patty. I'm back again. Hey, Mike, Carol, Harvey. Susan. Ash doesn't even say hi. You just be like, yeah, I'm here again, huh? Ask me your produce with Bobby. One time I heard him with the carriage. I was like, yo, you you out there again? He goes, nah, I'm just out here doing carriage duty. I'm like, of course I'm out here. What are you saying? Yeah, nigga. Guy, man. Yo, ask me how it's all the time. Why? I don't get it. So I'm shocked when I let you go in there no more. Yo, real tough. He's always using someone's discount card. Can I no, use no, yours? No, I left mine at the like table. Don't, don't, don't <laughs> act like you don't use other people's CVS card, though. Like, I be punching him other people's number. Yo. My be, best friend, I be using his train. He be like, yo. He's like, well, I got all these coupons to my email. Yo, no I'm like, my bad. My <laughs> bad. <laughs> I need to be scrolling that. through all this Man. shit like, yo, let me see. I ain't gonna lie, the other day I put my mama my boy's email to get a discount. <laughs> For real. Stop. This this thing is on one. Yo, <laughs> and then they pulled it, right? They was like, um, is it the first one or the second? He already had a membership. Wow, you are wow. I was like, it's the second one. Listen. It's the second one. Is it what? My thing is like this, you guys go out of your way to like to, to get discounts or yes. like or, or <laughs> yes. Like, or like, you know what I mean? Like, or or you just like, you know what? Fuck it, I'm just gonna bite this bullet, bro. Depends on what it is. Yeah, depends on what it is. The other day I tried to get a discount on like three or four pairs of sneakers. I figured you buy it in abundance, it's wholesale now, so we should get some type of discount. It didn't work. 
But I did try. <laughs> I did try. Did not work. It was like, it was like, the, was the manager at finish line was not having it. He yeah, just kept exactly. walking away. My man thinking, yo, this ain't hey, my kid. Yo, what are you doing? This is not hey, my To make it worse, I tried to use the black people. We should stick together, my brother. I just see how we do. He you just walked in his face. I did. He looked at you. He looked at me, laughed, and walked the hell off. He said, huh? Went to the back room. I tried. Uh, <laughs> no, no, he laughed. Don't do that. Don't do it. No, he did. <laughs> then he did. You know, he did. You 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 did. The girl at the register with the extensions definitely laughed. She laughed too. But uh, it, it she didn't really work. had the extensions though. Oh, she had the nappy leave. Oh, damn. It was nappy. It's okay. Bad. I appreciate him. She didn't give me a discount though. Oh my god. I want to. Wait, what's the Prestos? Ooh, the newer ones. Yeah, they're on my feet. Um, they come, they like walking on clouds. But you know what? Don't worry about it. We'll talk about it later. They're like walking on clouds. Like, wow. Welcome back, people, to another episode of Opinions and Consequences, episode 58, where your opinions can't lead to consequences. So choose your words wisely, gentlemen. I'm your host, AJ McLaughlin. I'm Clinton e. Martinez. I'm Ruben C. Telford. Woo! we back in the building, 58, baby. Why'd you go? I, I don't know. I feel like Rick Flair. Woo! Maybe because he's cold. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, uh, okay, shout outs that you know my man, my man Ryan Louise couldn't be here. Yeah, be probably somewhere out there in Ireland doing doing his uh his he's drinking his, Jameson. No, yeah, he's probably having a Mike's Hard Lemonade while he's like doing a Kaepernick. I don't know, yo. I see my I man Rye, yo. My man Rye, he a wild boy. Listen, he do a lot of wild stuff. Listen, <laughs> every, everybody out there, man, go go follow Rye, man. Yep, Ryan Let's, Louise. Yo. Yo. Seven God Ting. Seven God Ting. Seven God Ting. <laughs> Real one. He saved with oh, yeah. Kaepernick. Yeah, he was doing Kaepernick. Yeah, that's what he does. And yeah. With his boys, they do that. They do the Kaepernick. And they be like, and after that he'll put the camera on him. Oh, he's hot! And then he's over here chugging, chugging a Mike's hard lemonade. And I'm like, this is different. I mean, well, this I is this is I your first it, apartment. It, this is what this is. That's three. I remember that. No, it's their first dorm by themselves. <laughs> like they're the freaking RA and everything. Yeah, like straight up, bro. Like, they live in that college, that secondary college life. Yeah. That's right. Oh man. I'm good, bro. You know what? <laughs> yeah. Just got a second yeah. guess on that one. The way, the way you did that face. Yeah, that one was a little more smoother back in the day, like last <laughs> week. The back in the day. Oh yeah, the end taste. Yeah, the end. The, the end, end is sticky. End keeps you with the. Oh. Hit you with the. Yeah. Yeah. Hit you with the so Brooklyn. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> good video, by the way. Huh? Good video, by the way. Definitely a good video. I liked it. I meant to tell you about that. Dude. Yo, did you notice how girls are getting on Fabulous and Emily? I noticed that. Yeah. Yeah, they're they getting on them hard. They are getting them on hard. There was girls on Twitter talking a lot of trash. Like, she's I don't so have a dumb. Twitter. I don't either. Yeah. But I, I'm not going to lie. Twitter is great. You want to know why Twitter is great? I feel like it is. Twitter, Twitter is great because of how unpredictable it is. So, best time to be on Twitter is while you're taking a shit. So, okay, you're sense. sitting there. You're reading people, you know, you're reading what people post and stuff like this. Some people that you know, some people you don't. Athletes, superstars, whatever. And then for some strange reason, you scroll long enough and then, wow! It's a chick over here sucking dick and getting her back blown out. It's <laughs> great. It's just, unpredictable. It's, just, it's like shaking a dice, you know what I mean? Or you can shake a dice while ball. you're watching it. Right? Like, <laughs> like an elephant playing with a child. It's, it's, like, like, it's, it's fucking like, crazy, bro. It's I feel like crazy. it's just like more like... I don't know. I feel like that's more political. Like people just saying shit. Yeah, it's just it, it's it's just all words. I just feel like I don't have enough yeah. to say. <laughs> no, I feel like I'm not going to say. Not either. But, I'm look, gonna read. The just thing is, is that it's it's like being on Instagram. Because at the end of the day, you get you get the words, but you get people that give up clips, pictures, and stuff like that. Like this, actually, women who post pictures of themselves at this same picture they posted on. Instagram, they post it on Twitter. And yeah. on the and on the LinkedIn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. LinkedIn. Yeah. So at the end of the day, Real you know how back back in the day it was just words. Now Oh, so now it's like a Oh no, now it's just straight up videos. It's like my photos. It's like the <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a top eight on that or <laughs> no, I don't think you, you no, no, no. I don't know, I don't know. I don't, I don't, know. Know. I don't, I don't do Twitter, I'm just nervous. No. Yeah, <laughs> like yo, I, I yo, I don't do Twitter at all neither, but like <laughs> I don't, yo, I, I, was, I, the wrong thing. I say a lot of bad things, so I, so I, I think it's the best place for anyone. <laughs> you know what I mean? I feel like, you know, you can get a lot of frustrations out. It's bad for women, though. 
Oh, why? Right. Those type of people attack people. No, it's just like, you know, some girls will go on there and really... Rant? Go on. Like, go oh, uh, my, you know, my baby father left me because of my Instagram. Now he's bringing a new girl around my kids. And so, like, it's like so much wild, like... like it's, I, it's like a drama show. It's like a soap opera. Like, yo, when are we ever going to get to the point where we got to figure out that no one really cares? You know what I mean? Oh, like, when we gonna get to that I've point? I've been there. I've like, been there for a while. Like, like when, when you ever get to the point where you like tell the world about your little situation, and then you know, yeah, and then people like, like, I don't care. Bro. Exactly, because it's big to you, but like people are looking at it like they read it and be like, oh shit, that sucks for him. Scroll. <laughs> yeah, <you> know, like, <laughs> okay. I, I feel like a lot of people don't care. They just read it like, oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Like if I if I really do care about you, I'll I'll DM you and be like, take the shit down. Like, I've done that. <laughs> That's I've you're done a good that. friend. I've done that. That's the good friend. That. I don't play that. I, I'll be like this, and it'd be a homegirl. It happened to one of my homegirls recently. It was like last month. She put something on Snapchat, and she is the oh, black oh, background oh. with the paragraph. And oh, I, the essay, yeah. The and, essay. and after that, I go like this. I go, please take this down. The people that you think may care don't care. I care about you, so I don't want you to be one of those girls that's part of someone's group chat. Like you're gonna be on somebody's group chat yeah, when they're are. roasting you. They're yeah. gonna be roasting they're gonna you. They're gonna screenshot it exactly. and they're gonna be like, "Go to work, guys." <laughs> so it's like, it's like, yo, like, Ma, like, what are you doing? You ain't gonna get no sympathy for this. Like, no one's gonna give you out a award. Like, sing. Go girl. Go girl. You doing it all by yourself. Yo, group you chats, like, get group the fuck chats out are the here. devil. I really know. Man. I know I know at least all when all of us at some point have been in someone's group chat. Huh? You gotta think about that. So at least once. For uh, some it doesn't matter the reason. You've been there though. God, I hope I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> but think about it. We, 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 we had to. Because you gotta think about the group chats you have. Yeah. Think about the group chats you have. <laughs> Just think about no, it. I ain't gonna lie to you. My group chats is popping, bro. <laughs> it's popping. My group chat used to be good. I need, I need to start a new one. <laughs> I need to start a new one. I need group chat friends. I'm just going to be honest. <laughs> My group chat friends have been disappearing. They just say, they just say, yo, it's, 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 Mix it all up. <laughs> some of us are someone. <laughs> yeah, some, some Friday mornings be ugly. Yo, no bullshit. I, I got a no meeting in the morning. I got a photo shoot. God bless. Oh, must be nice. No, it's not. It's not. No, it's photo not. shoot? You yeah. better go get a line up. No. Mm -mm. Rough. Hmm? Rough McGruff. Okay. You gotta see me in the rough. These are rough times. I like that. What you what you like doing for a carpenter magazine or something? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna do it for <laughs> Berkeley, Burley Man. I can lay a carpet down. <laughs> yeah, you know, niggas, you know why? Burley Man is a magazine. Y'all be gonna have this so Brooklyn in the background. Yo, what up? I can show you how to make it stop. <laughs> two body with your stops. <laughs> he just yells too much. Yo, I, yo, I, yo. Yo, do you understand what he raps and you see his bite down on his teeth? It hurts. He, yo, he's definitely got to keep buying those teeth over and over again. He definitely grinds them shits down by the end of the month. That nigga's always getting some new choppers. Yo. I can show you how to make some back. I'm like, yo. But yo, he's one dude I really believe really caught some bodies. Like, oh, he's a killer. Yeah, he's definitely a he killer. He done shot a couple people. Yeah. He done shot at Uncle Murder and they cool. So As you, you, like? you be dying to fight all these people, would you fight Casanova? <laughs> He's not gonna fight me. No, he, I think he will. I think he will. I, I think I'm gonna take the over on that. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna take the over on that. Yeah. What if he fights? I think it's a fight. Especially if he shows up with the black forces. Oh man, I'm not. No, if he, <laughs> shows, if he shows up in the, in the white <laughs> dirty. No, nigga, like, if he shows up in white dirty forces, nigga, you gotta real, be scared. I'm a real nigga, but I ain't no super nigga. <laughs> though. Like, you know, anybody come with black forces and they creased up, nigga. I ain't nah, I, I'm more scared <laughs> of white dirties. I'm scared of white dirties. <laughs> White dirties? Nah, white dirties. You don't no, not, care. Not, not worse than black ones. No. White dirties are black the ones. White black, dirties. Black nah. forces is for everything, my nigga. Yeah. So white I'm forces. Good, I'm good on black forces. But when they dirty increase, no, oh, it's good. Yeah, I just don't trust you with dirty white. Oh, yeah, I don't trust you first. So that's, that makes you it even worse. Black forces, I don't trust you, nigga. I'm like, no, I'm good. Like, I'm think. looking, I'm like, mm hmm. And if you got a dirty white beard, I definitely don't trust you. I know what's going on. Something's going to happen. 
Right. Like, like, like I'm talking like the dirty mechanic type. <laughs> like this grease thing. dirty mechanic. Nigga said the dirty mechanic. You ever see the dirty mechanic? I'm like, damn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, they got, uh, they got they oil changes in there. You gotta let that go. All of them. Oh, I bought this today. Well, shit. <laughs> it's time to let it go. Ride, bro. All right, guys, listen, we're gonna go right into the honorable mentions. Listen, Boston Cracks 100. Listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna let Clint talk more about this, but I'm gonna I'm give you guys a little on uh, little little down for us on this. Um, a lot of people in the Greater Boston agree that the area is a great place to put down roots. Now, a, a new CNN money list re reinforces that notion. A ranking of 100 places to live in America has been named Somerville and Brighton as among the best 100 spots to settle down in the nation. Somerville placed 70th on the list while Brighton came in at number 92. According to the ranking, Somerville with a population of nearly 81,000 and a median household income of $82,307 and a median home price of $682,000. Um, the average commute for people who live there is 33 minutes and a 3% hike in job growth is expected. Meanwhile, Brighton, a neighborhood in Boston, is often lumped in the Austin and borders with Newton and Brookline is likely to see a 5.1% job growth. According to the ranking, the median household and income there is $70,000 and the median home price is listed at $451,000 according to the ranking. Clint, what do we think about this? Because Clint's a real estate guy, so, you know, I, I don't talk about this shit. I mean, so. they're, they're pretty much on the money. Like Somerville is as expensive as it can be and it's young, hot, it happening, especially now that it's close to... Uh, well, do you, do you recommend it to, like, you know what I mean, like... In I recommend it... Uh, for young professionals, absolutely. Uh, the prices are a little outrageous for condos and single families, but if you want to be just outside the city and within distance of all the attractions, uh, TD Bank North Garden and the Encore Casino, absolutely. Brighton, on the other hand, is more of a college town, um, but once again, it does have all the best, some of the best bars and restaurants on one major area, so. I mean, I recommend both areas if you can afford. Um, if you can't, go to the outskirts as far as you can. But essentially, yes, they, they pretty much nailed the head on uh, the hammer. Would you like? Would you like really? Like, are you surprised no. at the fact that this is top one hundred places to live in the nation? I am shocked um, because once again, it seems like they delegated this more towards young professionals. Um, because I would have put Wellesley or Newton somewhere in this list. I'm shocked they are not anywhere here. And I definitely would have put Everett uh, somewhere around Somerville's number just because it's the newest place. So I'm actually shocked that those aren't, three aren't on the list. So, but for the most part, I mean, though those two places have been rising and the prices have shown and uh, essentially if you can afford it, Shit. do it. Well, you, had, you heard of him. Right, right. You heard it's Somerville, so he could, he's definitely our correspondent on the ground. Right. Uh, well, no, he's, yeah. he's, <laughs> he's drinking right, <laughs> sorry. Anyways, um. Kaepernick. <laughs> Cabinet. <laughs> um, all right, our next honorable mention, Navy confirms US UFO sightings. The US Navy has finally acknowledged footage purported by to um the show UFOs hurting through the air. Hurtling through the air. And while off officials said that um they did not see the objects, they're not indulging any hints either. The objects seen in the three clips of declassified military footage are unidentified aerial phenomena, a Navy spokesman said. Um, Joe Gress Gar Gardisher confirmed to CNN. All right, so in other words, guys, uh, from Navy, they confirmed, they finally confirmed that they are UFO sightings. Like, what do you guys think about this? Like, did they ever storm Area 51 before? No, nah, they did. They never did. They never did. Because Area 51 well, said they like that um, ass up. A, a, a nice little <laughs> update on that was that they formed a concert. Oh. Okay, well that Dude, they raised money enough money to have a concert. That's crazy. Yeah, well, that's that crazy. The, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, whatever. We, yeah, we, got, we got no answers on yeah, that. Okay. Uh, yeah, man. I mean, fuck it. Do you believe in UFOs? Like, like, uh, like, is it like one of those things where it's just like you're like, yo, seeing this, believing, or you're like, yo, I do believe that there are aliens. You know what's funny? I never really think about it. <laughs> to be honest, oh, okay. honest. I'm one of those people I really don't give a shit. Like, oh, they pop up, I'm like, oh, yeah. like, oh shit, you're here. 
Welcome to the hood. Um, yeah, make man. yourself a seat. Hopefully, I'm just hoping they're the cool aliens. Where if I'm smoking, and I'm like, my nigga, you wanna, you know what I mean? I'm over there on that type of time. If they on that alien shit, where they trying to kill me, we got a bigger problem. But I'm so glad to get you. E.T. phone. Yeah, if they E.T., yeah. my nigga put on a hoodie, I give him a little edible, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, do the little jerk, we ride the bike, you wanna roll in the whip. You know, they they could pass me the power with the little glow finger No thing. bullshit. So I could fuck you around, know. hit me, give me some some type of healing, give me yeah. hops or something. I like the little glowy finger thing, because I feel like chicks would be like, yo, I definitely, need you, I definitely need you to finger me with that. Finger, finger the finger butt. Thing. Put it in the butt. Yeah, <laughs> just yeah. get break. Of course, why Clef would come in more <laughs> real. Just give me <laughs> one <laughs> more chance. <laughs> I'm sorry, my Someone, please call <laughs> die one one. <laughs> That glowing figure is dope. He like, is like, killing me with well, he, his one guy like Wayne. He was a little slow. I need him to talk. Yeah. I need him, you know, we gotta communicate. You know, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I'm like Clint, <laughs> man. I need to see it to believe it. And at the end of the day, any aliens I'm talking about is gonna be illegal aliens. <laughs> <laughs> so at the end of the day, <laughs> yeah, they just ain't got the passport. Exactly, <laughs> Juan Pierre. <laughs> you mean at the end of the day, Juan Jesus, Pierre, Angel, yeah, yeah. those yeah. Are my guys. Exactly, <laughs> they ain't from the '58 zone. <laughs> they from Haiti, <laughs> <laughs> Mexico, Mexico, Puerto Rico. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm just gonna smoke. I'm just, like I said, I'm just gonna. Damn, y'all just go walk on the street, do your thing. Y'all take a right, take a left. Y'all hungry, young. I'm gonna give them directions, but if they yeah, on that other shit, I, I can't. I can't. You know what? I, you know you what? believe it? I, you know what I mean? I, I do. Here you go with your X Files ass. <laughs> <This laughs> like, don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah. Like, yo, there's no bullshit. Oh, like, yo, I don't understand. Like, why can't someone believe that this is X Files? What is X Files? He called him Walter and Scully. He called him Walter Scully. Are you serious? Are you serious? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> That was good music. It was. Dude, oh, hey, no, hey. That tune was nice. <laughs> Dude, I, you believe you, 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 you see I, it. You know, my thing is just like, I don't, I, like, yo, come on. Like, my thing is just like, at the end of the day, you're going to sit here and tell me you have to see some in order to believe it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I'm like that with anything. Me yes. too. Just like that spirit shit. I don't so, believe that. So you, 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 you believe in Jesus? Oh, that's different. Oh, see, now it's different. So, come on, man. Cut it out. I bring smoke. That's different. I bring that's smoke. Different. No, that's no, you've never seen a dude. That's different. You've never seen We have dogs. a book. What we got with aliens? Some fake shit people thought of. Oh, so we now? got a We got a Bible. Okay. What do we got for aliens, my G? Who wrote the Bible? Oh, so you, so you got the... Who wrote the Bible? So, all of a sudden, Who wrote you the got the Huffy bike with the basket that E.T. was in? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do. Oh, I do. you do. You do. The Huffy bike. Fuck out of here with your X-Files ass. Here you go. 21 speed. Here you go. It was a magnet. Yeah. It was a magnet. I know Nigga in your room make, making the, the little pillow sheets with the tin yeah, the, with the, the little with the flashlight. Ooh, like get the fuck out of here. So you believe in ghosts? I do believe in spirits. I said ghosts. I didn't say spirits. Yeah, ghosts, yeah, spirits, yeah, say spirits. <laughs> what the hell's not the same? Ghosts and spirits, yeah, Yo, ghosts and spirits are the same shit. You know what? You make perfect sense. <laughs> Bro, like, know why? Like First of all, this X Files stuff. <laughs> yes. You 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 fuck my, with Yeezy. Yeezy okay, is like your close. That's your. My thing, my thing is, hold on, hold on. Why, could, okay, hold on. Why could you believe in one thing and not believe in another though? Be that's the thing though. So okay, so you saying Hercules doesn't exist? I mean, well, see that's the bullshit. That's what I'm talking that's about. The bullshit. I'm talking so that's what I'm saying. That's the bullshit. See that? Why? Why? Why, why, why are you doing well, the well? Why are you doing the well? You know what I mean? Well, well, I, I well. said well because because at the end of the day, I love those type of movies. They are dope. Now, now, medieval now. times. I wish Hercules was real. I wish the warrior or... princess was really with the shits. No, no, I see what you want to say. She with the strap. Oh, she had the little oh, don't she? But that's what I'm saying. Though. My thing is just like, yo, you can't like, you cannot not believe it though. What, what do you mean? I cannot not believe it. It it's <laughs> no, not. You... It ain't. It ain't on. It on. It ain't on Matthew 33. <laughs> you mean? I do. My dude. Look at look at the Bible verse seven. He just learned. 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 Don't, 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 don't give me no, yo, you stay with the nonsense. Where'd you, where'd you learn these Bible verses? No, you didn't. Where'd you learn these? I'm just kidding, because you tried it. What do you mean? You gotta, right, gotta, right. gotta go through some stuff to get close to the people, bro. You gotta get close to God. Yeah, you it's me getting close to God. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm man. with Ruben on the whole thing. I gotta see that stuff to believe it. Exactly. I, I'm not saying I'm not saying it's not true. I'm not saying it is true. I just I, I have to see it in order to be like, exactly. okay. Yeah, no, no, I understand that for some people, but at the same time, it's just, it's, it's kind of it's kind of misleading if you believe in something else you didn't see, but you but you but you don't believe in I something else. I can understand, yeah, but see. we have a book. We don't. It don't matter what the book is. But there's a Bible. I'm not with him. I'm not with him. I'm not with him. There is a Bible, and there's like seven different ones. Facts. Okay, that's understandable. But okay, there's a Bible. There's only one thing. What's the one thing in the Bible that you all agree with? Your thing. Only one thing in the Bible that every religion. No, only one thing. God. No. 
It was the flood. That is the only thing that's in every single Bible. Do you think, bro? Moses, it's the flood, bro. <laughs> do you think Moses parted the Red Sea? Like these are the questions. That and you see what I'm saying? Like, yo, I'm, I'm asking serious. I don't know neither, bro. Like, they said Jesus walked on water. I'm gonna be real. But you, some, but you believe in avatars water. and stuff like that. But go, go ahead, I do never you? Said avatar, no, I'm just saying. Avatar, avatar, avatar was definitely an alien. He was an avatar. avatar. It wasn't aliens. What were they? What was that? They were like six what nine. The, 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 the movie? Yeah. yeah. That wasn't real. <laughs> This nigga thought E.T. was real. <laughs> Fuck, this nigga had the basket, nigga. This nigga saw the movie and had a huffy, nigga, his yo. strong ass. This nigga, this nigga, and you told me, yo, nigga, nigga like King Kong nigga on a fucking bike. I don't mean to laugh, but he's E.T. Oh, this nigga probably built, this nigga probably built a ramp in the backyard. <laughs> hold on, hold on. This nigga try to get over the fence, nigga. Y'all crazy. Listen. This nigga was like this. I'm gonna go over the moon. This nigga was trying to go over the moon, Clay. Listen, 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 listen. Yo, my nigga, you can't be quick this week. <laughs> yes, you can. Nigga. You gotta Jesus drink that Christ. Quick, nigga. Listen, Jesus. this nigga over here, nigga, the book of Eli, bro. Like, I'm over here talking about, <laughs> like, yo. Off the rock. <laughs> yeah, this nigga definitely did. Oh, my man. Listen, we're we gonna go into our last honorable mention. Listen, Seinfeld's switching streamers, people. In the entertainment industry, has learned anything, it is never underestimated. The enduring power of beloved sitcoms that generations have grown up watching nice. and rewatching. Knowing this, Netflix spent a lot of money and effort to stream the best of the best. But now, Netflix has just got Seinfeld, people. He bought it, they bought him out from Hulu. Listen, it was estimated that Hulu paid about $130 million for a total of six-year deal to show domestic streaming rights, not $150 million per year, as it was reported, and Amazon held on to the rights for most foreign territories. Yeah, the new, that, yeah. the new deal oh, man. I Netflix love full though. has full control over it. Jesus, because they lost the Office and, and Friends, right? That's what yeah, they, they lost the Office. That's a good show. Netflix, the Office is funny. Netflix don't have it. They, they lost it. They, they, they lost it, bro. They lost it. They, I guess they caught you. Yo, how come they don't have Martin on there? I was thinking, why don't they have like the Jamie Foxx show, Fresh Prince? That would definitely revive them. Even I'm though saying, Jamie, the Jamie Foxx show actually comes on Nick at night, but it's funny. It is funny. It is funny. It is funny. But um, and Wayne's Brothers, they could throw a lot of good shows on it. They were smart. That comes on at Nick at night. It does too. too. It, it definitely does. does. But Fresh Prince would definitely put them over the top all the seasons. That comes on at Nick. But at I, night I didn't too. know Simon. Like people talk to me about Simon. I watched it. It was alright, but I, I, I don't think feel one like of the was, best one was with the soup dude. The soup. Oh, the no soup, soup, soup for you. We used to be in college when a shorty didn't give you the box. And we'd be like, no soup for you. <laughs> you came back to the dorm with no nothing. It's much no you, come through, you come through with the hoodie on and your freaking, and your fucking, fucking Apple, tr your iPhone charger. Knowing you ain't get to sleep over. And they used to be like, no soup for you. That hurts. 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 We all been there. So <laughs> We've all been there, though. I know you got one of those two. Well, we all got one. The possible shot, and it didn't go through. Oh man, you know, there's oh, too many to count. But either way, back to Seinfeld. I didn't think it was that big. I just, I'm, I, I guess I'm glad for Netflix. They got I was, I was, I was a big Seinfeld friend. Me either. I was. Yeah. I only had a few channels. Well, yeah, I mean, was, I could tell you my channels: four, five, seven, ten, twenty-five, thirty-eight, forty-four, fifty. Came on thirty-eight. And like, sixty-eight. Like, like, uh, the supermarket sweep was lit. I don't know about I don't that. Like you, you don't know about Superman? Oh, shit. that's when they ran through the yeah, store. They, through the they store. would run they through the store. The shop, they go to the grocery store. You had, to, you had to get the most. You had to get the most. Like you had to price it out. And oh, know that, is that? Oh, one of Supermarket those. Supermarket Street. It was lit. Oh. It was on 68 though. Oh, that's the God, God Channel. 61 of me. Oh God, that shit. <laughs> My fault, Jesus. Okay, nigga. Well, good for Netflix. They needed something. Yeah. Oh yeah, they did. They definitely needed anything because you know why? Because. Well, they're raking in, like, they said Netflix um, as much as $935 million in annual subscriptions. $935 million in annual subscriptions. That's crazy. Were equals to a drop over $180 million in revenue every single month. Every month? $180 million. Holy Jesus Christ. But then again, you know what I mean? They got to pay out a lot, though. What do you mean? How much they got to pay out? That's well, what you got to pay out to get a lot of entertainers, though. Like, you got to think about it. You, you got to get entertainers. You have to get... um. You have to get um actors. You got to get you know the rights for shit. You know what I mean. So I feel like the rights cost you mad bread. Exactly, especially when Time Warner and Disney own all them shit. That's a good point. Jesus Christ. Yo, what we got for situations with Clint? So, cause, cause Clint out here, he back in the building like like he. My highest is missed clearly. Uh, marijuana industry taking over mass. Question being, 
with towns like Brookline having the first, I don't mm. know if you gentlemen are well aware, it is the highest revenue dispensary in America. Yes, this is this is facts. You can Google it, check it. It's all facts. Um, over here on our beloved Route Nine, um, I guess the question is: Has any of you looked into uh, becoming a cultivator, a retail store, or anything currently? Because apparently there are a lot of community programs that are helping a lot of people our color out to do so so um i guess my question is how do we feel about the marijuana industry and do we think any of us will be uh investing in it <sighs> negatives and positives give me the pros and cons uh well uh i know shit about it but um so you know i'm just gonna go into it as a as a business perspective um welcome um i do feel like you know you know at the end of the day it's kind of i feel like it's gonna be like like a gun shop hmm. like you know what I mean there's more gun shops than fucking McDonald's like you know what I mean that's like, true probably but like you know what I mean so my thing, just like, yeah, my thing is just like my thing is just like my thing is just like I feel like world. I feel like you know what I mean I know that Massachusetts I don't know how any other state is doing it they're trying to regulate the amount yep of actual dispensaries that could be within a certain area and all that stuff just so that they can limit the amount of it's a mile. You know, Correct. Yeah. So, like, therefore, I, I just feel like, I feel like over a course of time, it's going to be oversaturated. Do you think it's going to have the same effects as alcohol? I guess the same because you know alcohol licenses are acquired so vastly. Like we have a bunch of liquor stores within, and that's what a I'm saying radius. though. And that's what I'm saying though. I just feel like you know it's just it's going to come down to it where it's just going to be like, Poppy could have a little bit of portion on there. Like, you know what I mean? Poppy could open a store and be like, yeah, you know, this is my little thing. Uh -uh. I thought it would mess up the black market, but it hasn't. It hasn't affected it? No, not like that. Like, the numbers have dropped in certain things, but at the end of the day, it, does, it hasn't really messed up the black market, is that? Because at the end of the day, if you really think about it, you're getting taxed on everything in there. Everything. You, go, you, you get taxed higher, actually. You get taxed at 50%. Exactly. They Especially, get taxed a lot worse. You go in there with a buck fifty, you don't come out with much. No. <laughs> you don't come out with much of, of, you know what I mean? I've seen the line to go in there. Oh, but it's, it's always... It's a force. It's always force. It's like a Jay-Z line, bro. It's and, and it goes like this. And it, you can go midday, afternoon, yeah. morning. It's always I want to know what they're going to do in the winter. Like That's the curiosity. That's what everybody's kind of curious about. I mean, essentially, Either way, yeah. money. No, but it's wild. When you drive by it, it's wild because you're like, they're really out here. No, they really. And out it's here. like corporate men, doctor. You it's, see, like it's everybody. weird. You know what? You know, flat like being overseas, they don't have it like that over there. They don't. Like in Amsterdam, have no. Amsterdam, like, they do. No, 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 no. I'm saying like, okay, like, like recently in Brussels, like in Brussels, in like, Brussels, I was in Brussels. They had a little shop there. I, shop. It wasn't even. It wasn't even like. Popping, but that's like the alcohol thing. You that's know, like, like the drinking thing in America. Like you kids younger than twenty one, but, but, but that's crazy. what they, but that's what they need to have. Though. Though. I don't think they have that out here. It's yet. outdated though. It's, yeah, it's, it's, been it's, so it's long. the new wave. It's the new wave. It's like, oh shit, this is here. Let's go here. I think that'd be pretty cool though. What? What? A what? coffee shop out here where you can oh, like yeah. Smoke, yeah smoke and have like a toaster scrudel. <laughs> have uh, a croissant, well, croissant. Smoke with some OG cookies. <laughs> Eat a croissant with some coffee, yeah, money. Yeah, a little coffee. <laughs> so yeah, would you yeah. ever invest in it, though? I guess my question. I, would, I, I wouldn't mind investing in it. Oh, hell yeah. But I wouldn't, I would, you know what I mean? I, like, like I said, I don't know the industry. I I guess who's industry. getting in the weed business? All right, I'm just putting that up. What's up? No, no, no. I'm going to take a shot. He's like, he's like, he's like. and consequences, marijuana coffee shop coming soon. <laughs> That'd be pretty lit. I can't know. Yeah, that changes the whole we could like be in there having our little podcast and people could be like, when well, somebody says Say something else. ill, then after that I'll be like, yo, yeah, yeah, pass me that joint. Yeah. Right, pass me the brownies. <laughs> I think that'd be pretty cool, man. When I, this has been dope. I've just told you a lot of stuff happening. A lot of no, it, 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 oh, I, and, and you know what? I, I have a few few friends that work at dispensaries mm -hmm. and they said like, yo, they can't even cash your check in certain places. Like they won't cash their check. Are you serious? I would take yeah, the direct because, deposit because but they can't. <laughs> but they because can't. because they it's work illegal. At a dis yeah. dispensary. It's illegal. Like you know what I mean. So like a lot of people won't cash. Like nah, I'm not touching that. Yeah, so go to the bank. And it's cash. not. It's, it's federal. It's not federally regulated. That's, that's the issue. What it that's is, what you're saying. See, because they can't tax it federally. So it's that's what it is. Federally, not on the state. So like that's what it is. So like it's like it's one of those things. Where I was like, oh shit, bro. Like, and you still there? 
I mean, they get paid. I know a couple of people have this business that get paid. No, they get paid, but at the same time, like, it's just one of those things where if you invest, you have to, you have to put up buku bucks. No, you do. You Not necessarily. You just have to go through the process, and the process could take from anywhere from a year to two years. No, you have to put some bread up. Yo, no, 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 you can't invest Yo, you, mil. I, yeah. I got a guy. Uh, mil plus. Uh, no, no, not, not necessarily. No, that's not true. Uh, I have a friend. He went in with like thirty thousand of his own. His girlfriend put up thirty thousand. Then he got some couple investors. But he went through the process for like a. He carried three properties for like a year and a half. Now he's seen the return of the money in six months. But it's still the fact of the matter. Like you have to go through a process of permitting, of uh, the town. Of uh, no. it's like it's like a. Well, process. I'm talking about something that's already like built up and ready to go. Oh, and no, they need no, no, investors. No, no. You gonna have to put some bread up. It doesn't work like that. You have to build it out because there's certain regulations. No, 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 no. Like, as in like, yeah, you can build it out. Cause I know somebody who's actually part of like the chairman to all that. Yeah. So at the end of the day, he's asked, he's asked for, and you know, investors. And he's like, yo, look, I got this. I got it all laid out. I know everybody. I've been a part of the board. Yeah. And he told me it's big money it's up, big bro. Money. It's big money. But yeah, guys and they, they ain't money talking up. about no thirty, twenty-five nah, thousand. They nah. talking about yo, you gonna get five hundred to a million. Your, your so build out's like, yeah. gonna cost you about three to five hundred thousand. Your build out. That's and just that's the build out. We're not talking your employees. And that's, and that, and that's what I'm saying though. Yeah, so like, my thing bread. is just like, my thing is just like, and, and and the thing is, a lot of people are not willing to just shell that over. No, you have to have good investors that that are willing you, to go with you. But that's what I'm saying. You gotta have people like yo, the deeper pockets. I'm not gonna lie. If I had it, I'd do it. Cause at the end of the day, I know that bread's gonna come back. Oh, yeah. yeah, but yeah. that's what I'm saying. But other people, they're like, nah, I'm good. Yeah. Well, a lot of people don't even want to lease out properties because they're afraid of the ramifications. And like, people are like, yo, you can be a partner and make your money yeah. a thousand times. Like, even like, there's so many celebrities doing it. Shaq's ex wife is doing it. Shawnee? Shawnee has a strand. Yeah. Well, Tesla, Elon Musk is a proud advocate. Like, it's crazy. A lot of yeah, people. Yes. Well, you Elon Musk. I'm shocked Shaq doesn't have a strand. He Shaq does. Diesel would be. He probably does. Probably. Shaq, Shaq. Shaq. Yo, if you ever do get the into their but special the way, uh, uh, make sure to try the um, oh, the yeah. David Banner. I'm, I'm a white widow man myself. Oh, man, you got to try the David Banner. Let me tell you, it makes you stand out of tension, gets your <laughs> well, hormones man. going. Just keep <laughs> oh, yeah, but let me tell you something. <laughs> let me you're tell you. You're yeah, yeah. yeah. You're an When you feel the third leg crib walking, buddy. Oh, <laughs> Blowing the midnight long. oil. <laughs> Things are getting long. All righty. <laughs> All right, right. So We're going to take something to Danny Glover. Yo, listen, let's we're gonna we're gonna talk a bit, little bit about this um a little bit of fashion news. We haven't really did no fashion. Uh, the fashion news. week. Fashion week, yeah, definitely week, fashion, fashion week. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um a little bit in, in the fashion news, um most recently, um an American fashion brand Bistroy, um or Bistroy, I should say, has received fierce criticism on social media after displaying a school shooting theme hoodies at a show during New York Fashion Week. Cool. Yes, people, hear me out. Listen, the brand Spring and Summer 2020 collection designed by Brick Owens and Dewey Catazar um, featured distressed hoodies reading Stone Man Douglas, Sandy Hook, Jesus. Virginia Tech, Jesus. Columbine. The sites of all four deadliest school shootings in the U.S. <laughs> Not for nothing, the crowd look mad uncomfortable. Like, bruh. They look mad uncomfortable. Photos from the show posted on Brand's <laughs> Instagram <laughs> website, as well as Owens, quickly drew outrage with the commoners identifying <laughs> themselves as survivors and relative Yo, victims. <laughs> on a photo, Stoneham Douglas um, hoodie, one person commented, my dead classmates dying should not be a fucking fashion statement. Way to cuss that out. Jeez. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's 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 very it's very distasteful. It's very distasteful. Like, you know what I mean? Like you got you have you have these clothing that are quote unquote distress and it's meaning like it's it's bullet holes through them. Yes, that's not cool, man. That's not fucking cool that's at all. Bro. Like, that. like and it, it it is it is definitely Distasteful to to have this, especially at Fashion Week. Facts. Like I don't know, like well, like so so wait, are should we be more upset at the fact that Fashion Week allowed it, or should we be more fact uh, upset at the fact that? I mean, Fashion Week doesn't technically allow anything. It's Fashion Week is just essentially a bunch of fashion shows going all around New York City. Yeah, you're or, right. You're or right. Or whatever. So the individual designer, I think, is who you have to be mad at, dude. 
Mm. That's why I, that's why I would be upset with it because you designed this and you decided to put it on display and think it was okay. So I think that's what we should be doing. Mm-hmm. And I think it's just super distasteful, man. That's I, not cool. The I, bullet holes made it worse. Like that's, that's just it's that's like come on, dude, like and it and it's crazy because like it's it's like, dude, you have it from all the like schools. Every that, single like, one. You know what I mean? Like that. It's it's not like you know what I mean. You did one like, but like my thing was just like I I, I would I would love to know. Like, what was the intention behind it? I think like, it was for publicity. I think it was honestly publicity. Like, I don't know, like, what that's was the intention publicity. behind it? Like, you know what I mean? Like, say any publicity is good publicity. Like, and that's what it is. I don't like that. And I don't like that. I don't know. This is crazy, bro. It just looks bad. Especially. It looks horrible. The Sandy Hook one is like, that was babies, bro. That's kind of like, fuck. I don't man. give a fuck, like, which one it was. But, like, all of them were, like, you know, they were deadly shooting. Yeah, I mean, I saw Sandy Hook one first, and I was like, ew. Yeah, and that's what it is. Like you know what I mean? It's it's like it's crazy, man. Like it's it's what are we really shocked by? I no. I don't know. I, I feel I'm like not nothing shocks us anymore. Uh, like we're so um, what's it called? We're so numb to it. Yeah, we're like, wow, really? It's sad. Man. But these shootings happen so consistently that it's like, holy shit! Like it's got to be bad. I don't know. I just I'm not really shocked about this. I, mean, I feel like everybody's trying to figure out a way to. Do the newest thing. So. Yeah. Shocking all. Yeah, I wouldn't be. I'm not, I'm not shocked, man. I wouldn't be shocked if the line actually went out. I wouldn't be wanted with you. I wouldn't be shocked. Yeah. I wouldn't be shocked if the line actually went out. Well, guys, if you guys want to know more information about it, um, you know, I'm not promoting the brand, but like, you know what I mean. I would love for you guys to voice your opinion on it. Um, but it's um, destroy. Um, you know what I mean. I'm not too sure what their intentions were and. And I don't know if it was malice or whatever the case was, but like, yeah, it was a distasteful stuff. Whatever, I'm over it. Whatever. Um, I got a break question for you guys. Um, um, would you be happier with unlimited control over everything? Bar. Like I, you know what I mean. I would, I would love to know that. Like you know, like because I feel like a lot of people, everybody wants control over things. Everybody wants to be able to be like, yo, you know what? Nah, this is going down like this. But would that make you happy? If if you had control over everything, no. I don't want it. Uh, control freak is the worst thing you could be. I'm like, I try to control too many situations, and it always backfires. Certain things you have to let go of it. Just let it go. You can't. It's impossible to control everything. At first off, it's impossible. I know, but that's what. But, but, I, what, what it, if, it, you if, if you could, if you could, I wouldn't because. But what if what if you could control it to make it better for you? You see what I'm saying? Though? I Would understand that. that. I understand so what you're going with. I though. still feel like certain things like they have to play out the way they play out for a reason. I, I'm no, a big believer of it happens for a reason, and that's no, the way yeah, it's yeah, going to yeah, play. Yeah. No matter how you try to do it, because you could think you controlled it at this moment, right? Really? And then something else happens, and then you're gonna try and control it, but then th- it's still the same narrative, right? You ever try to do something, and then you think you're doing the right thing, and then all of a sudden you get knocked down. You're like, "What the fuck? I'm doing." And then you try to do it again, you get knocked down, and then you go a whole different way, and then it works for some reason. I don't know. And like, I, 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 I've been in those situations. I don't know if anybody else has. I'm just saying for me in general. So I've learned that like even trying to control things, it's like sometimes it's the worst thing because it'll drive you fucking insane. Like you really do try. I to see, but that's what I'm saying. But a lot of people will complain the fact that they can't control certain situations. Exactly. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? People will control like people will complain about the fact like, oh, if I had to, if I could have controlled the situation, things would have been different. Yeah, hey, man. Yeah, I think and that's where we live with regret and stuff like that. Like I wish I could have changed. I could have been but it, you weren't meant to be there. That shit happened. So your 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 answer is you wouldn't like to uh, you? Unfortunately. This dude um hmm. well hmm. Uh, I'm gonna say I'm in the middle on this because at the end of the day if you really think about it having the power to control everything is pretty ill I mean yeah. you, you'd be a god yourself if you really think about it yeah. exactly Jesus um, so um, <laughs> my bad no, my bad no but like the funny thing about you bringing this up is that a dude that I met through someone else told me that um he said that our minds was trained wrong because he felt that we are all our own God. So we like, are. and he was just pretty much saying like, you know, like, 
yeah, we are part of God, but we all are God. We're all ill in our own way, and blah blah blah. And I was like, I get you, but um, I always feel like this is always going to be a higher power. But man, it just it's. It, I feel like it matters who you are to to want that type of power, because at the end of the day, you really think about it. Like you mean, it really does matter who you are. Because there's times where Les Clinton says he just rather just let life just plan plan itself. And then there's some people that really do try to control their lives. And of course, it always ends up backfiring on them. Sometimes you do get a gain, so no, you see the right. one. No. Because my thing is it's like, you know, I don't know if it would make you more happy or make you more miserable. Because it's possible. Yeah, exactly. It's happy like you know what I mean? The more that you try to be happier, the more miserable you'll be because you, you're controlling so much. Exactly. Where everything is to your to your liking. Now it's like, what the fuck? Yeah, there's no change. Right. Exactly, everything's so perfect, and that's a, uh, that's not unrealistic. Everything yeah. can be perfect, and that's what it, it is, really though. Can. But see, but then that's what I'm saying. But it, it, it's kind of it's it's just irony because you know a lot of people that's what they want. They yeah. want that control. They want to be able to be like, yo, fuck that. If I had, if I had that dog, I yeah. Especially you wouldn't appreciate shit. But we also don't look at the backstory behind it. You know, we see the front, we don't see the back. Exactly. And that's what it comes down to. Of course. Because you controlling everything could be fucking someone else up. Yeah. 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 That's essentially what it is. What, it's a butterfly flight? <laughs> yeah, so. I mean, it's, it's like I said, it's, it's insanity to try and control yeah. things, man. It's just, you, you see a control freak? You ever see people don't want to talk to the control freak? Because you're trying to, I gotta control. Would gotta, you like watch X-Men and decided to come up with that question or some shit like that? With Dr. Evil, Dr. Strange or something? Shit was just a little different. I'm just saying. I'm just, I was just wondering where you got to. You, you, you had to think about it. <laughs> Everything's different. You got to think, nigga. Man, come on, man. You got to drink something. He man. said you had to think. <laughs> it was like an insult. That hurt your brain. I'm just saying, saying yeah, bro. Like, where'd you get that one from? I'm thinking yeah, that you just, probably was, you know, did you go nah, watch Doctor Strange or whatever? Nah, like, it's just real life shit, nigga. Because you know what I mean? How people, you know. Is that one of your X-Men powers you wish you could have had? You mean? When you was in the... Backyard trying to get to the moon with the puppy. I hate you so <laughs> much. Yo, I'm here, man. Yo, this nigga really had it. Fuck. Nigga had an ET fucking. He says teddy bear he says, on the basket. He was in the backyard with, back back with the stupid ramp. That's conception. <laughs> Jesus yeah, this Christ. Nigga you know. was really yelling out, phone home. This is why. This is why. This is why. This nigga, nigga this is why we can four, never grow as people. <laughs> four, 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 five tickets to go see Independence Day. Coming from this nigga, man. Come on. You I'm went to a, see that movie. No, you I didn't. See, yes, you did. No, no, no cut really the shit, didn't. nigga. You I didn't. See, I, didn't see, I, didn't I saw it at home. I saw sorry. It. Yeah, I didn't. I apologize. Good one, though. Good one. That's a good point. Yeah, good one. Good one. That was terrible. Let me so, tell you. you know what, man? I ain't gonna <gasps> listen, man. Listen, we're gonna talk. Listen, we're gonna get right in. We're gonna get right into the entertainment portion, man. Yeah. Listen, um, Travis Scott, look, mom, I could buy a one point six million dollar ride. Let me talk about this. Travis Scott is definitely in the one percent. Not only does he have a new vehicle that costs more than most houses, yeah, it's <laughs> one of the only ninety nine. Is that a G-Wagon? That's, that's only one of the 99 ever that's made in the whole world. The rapper Maybach. recently dropped a fortune on a white 2018 Maybach, Maybach. G650 G650 Lot. I ain't never seen this in my life. An extremely rare G-Wagon that goes for $1.6 million. It comes fully loaded. Travis, Travis bought the G through a specialty car collection in LA a couple of weeks ago after he purchased a ride from a well-known car collector Obi Cook, Okeki, Okeki, aka Dr. Bugatti. Doctor, I don't even know how you get that him? name, dude. We're told that the loaded, the, um, it was loaded into Austin and shipped to Scott, um, Scott in um, Houston. Maybach only produced ninety nine of these landalots. Um, That's but nuts. But just just to make it more special, Trav had it custom wrapped in brown. It's dope. Goes well with the interior, which includes mini fridge. It's one point six million after all. Mm, that's hard. I ain't gonna lie. You know, Floyd gonna buy like six of them tomorrow. You know what? I respect it because if you really? have it, you know why? Really? Travis Scott has been a producer for how long? How many years now? And he's a young dude, and he's been consistent, and you don't hear about him. Travis Scott's a producer. Yeah. Am, I, am I late to the party? Yeah, a little bit. My bad. That's okay. I'm not 
Right. Travis Scott first started as a producer who was signed by T.I. Who T.I. couldn't do anything with him, so he brought him to Kanye. It was like, yo, I know you can do something with this. And essentially, wow. he let him produce, and Kanye let him produce, and he was just producing mad people stuff. And that's why Travis Scott just started coming out the last couple of years because he was uncomfortable being in front of the camera. He thought he was too ugly being in front of the camera. So he didn't do interviews and stuff to like the last two, three years. Well, he's definitely weird. No, he is. His music is definitely weird. But I mean, like I said, he's worked hard. And him being this young and working this hard and getting this far, I mean, I applaud him. I wish I could afford something like that. I can't be mad at him. I'm kind of shocked Wait, 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 wait. I'm kind of shocked Clint is cool with this. Because yeah. Clint's Mr. Frugal. Like, hey, yo, guys, what well, we need to buy so many sneakers. Yeah. And this, that, and the third. But you're I, cool with this. I think, I think he's keeping up with the Joneses. I, I think just, I think so too. I, I think he's I'm not mad at that. I, but like, I, I, I feel like I feel like I feel like no one has that. That's why that's why I'm mad with it too. No one has that. No one has that. I don't think no one has that. And no. the fact that he can afford it, and like I believe in a ten percent rule. If you if you want a, you know a hundred thousand dollar car, you gotta have at least a million dollars in the bank. You know what I'm saying? And he clearly has that. But 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 that's but, where the frugalness came into place. Y'all play that. So what he got? Mm-hmm. So so he got a hundred million plus. That's what you're saying. No, I'm not saying he has. A, I don't I, I don't count his pockets. I don't know, but I know well, he's earned ten percent of it. 1.6. Okay. And if what if he does? You you go, you human calculator, you. That's not hard to do. Yeah, I'm just sorry. I'm just I know. You had to help try, yeah. try to get him on your side. Yeah. yeah. Hang on. I'm trying, I'm trying, trying to gauge it. That's okay. So you try. He still, likes, okay. he still likes CT. Let's just go back to the lunch <laughs> table and have some lunch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're not, like, I mean, uh, like, look at the, look at the, look at his touring. Like, I watched his documentary, which is really interesting, actually. If you watch how he came up. <laughs> I no, I'm not, I'm, not, like, no, I'm not. I'm not. You know what? I'm not discrediting the fact that how much he has accomplished and all that stuff. What I'm saying is like, you know, 1.6 million for 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 a vehicle. I'm actually shocked that Ash isn't okay with this. The way he spends on socks, you would think he would be fine with uh, this. 1.6 million on it. You won't right. spend a hundred dollars on socks, my guy. But that's fine though. But that was. Fine. <laughs> and he gets some dry cleaning. Yeah, that, that's. But, but that's fine come though. On. So listen, for what, I don't think it's like my thing is like, I was like, gonna say come on. Like, he had no comeback. He was like, come on, why are you putting that out there? Like, man, do that dry clean though. So yeah. but my th- but my thing is just like Yo, do they come in the, on the hanger with the bag? They definitely do, nigga. They put that shit in the bag. Oh, and shout out to the bubbles. No, bossy. No, they put it in the box. I'm the no, first one to hear him chat. Oh, they put it in the box? Yeah. Oh, it's not on the hanger? No, they put it in the box for me. They fold it up. Nah, tell them to put it on the hanger. I don't want that shit on the hanger because it stretches. So listen, um, go ahead. Um, you would think out of that type of material, it wouldn't do that. But yeah, those. You would think so. so. My thing, my thing is just like this. I get it. If you got it, you could do it. Like you know what I mean. But like, it's kind of like one of those things where, where oh, Kanye and Hov cut the top off on the Maybach for 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 Otis. Was you weren't okay Otis? with that. Yeah, you weren't okay with that. No, I'm not saying that I wasn't okay with that. But my thing is just like, yo, it wasn't a 1.6 million dollar car. How much is a Maybach again? Not 1.6. How much is Maybach again? Uh, Not that one. No, no, just, no, the just, Maybach they had was definitely the, the big boy. The big boy. Yeah, Which one was it definitely the, was. Uh, the big boy, yeah. It and after that, the Madden one? Yeah, no, don't forget that they, they definitely, they um they didn't just... Oh. They cut the roof off. Yeah, I know. They, they, they destroyed it. But they, they... They they modified it. They put flames out of it. They did. Yeah, they souped it. Yeah. And they said they did that for fun, just to prove like they could do it. No, but see, my thing is just like this. I, I get it. You know, oh... He got a Billy, but Billy, a Billy, a Billy. But so, like, my thing is, so just the car like, was at that point six hundred thousand dollars. Oh and God, wait, wait, here, here, the, here, the, here, the, here are the stats. Such a funny here are the stats. No. The car was six hundred thousand that time, and the work they did to it was at a hundred thousand. That's seven hundred thousand dollars. Come on, come on, and we round up in this table. No, we're not rounding up. Oh, now we're not rounding up to a million. Well, so, Clint, so, 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 no, we're not rounding up. It's well, just eighty dollars. That's that's a hundred. They got paid. So okay, in my store, you don't run out. In my story, they were a hundred. No Ruben, in your store, was they a hundred? Hundred. They was a hundred in my story too. So they were hundred. My story was no hundred. I, I think not it was not our story. Five, that was including tax. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, I definitely included tax. You remember that? California tax. He was like, it's dark, gray. <laughs> as I as I look in my as I look in my drawer, I pull out Chris Pierre tall loafers. First socks. Cashmere socks, hundred dollar pair. Hundred dollar pair. Yeah, he's like, he's like, first loafers, then socks. Yo, That's you don't remember that? Both. You be <laughs> <best> forever. <laughs> but I mean, it's it's like the kid worked hard, dude. If you if you watch this story, the kid worked hard for his money, and if that's how you want to spend your money, and that's what it is. Like my thing is like, I I I don't know. 
I, you know what it is with, 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 with Travis? It's it's just, I, the way I look at him and the way he is, I don't feel like he's that person. I feel like... In which regard? I'm just Kylie Jenner is that person. Oh, no. You feel that's me? not fair. No. Is, we is don't that know fair? That, we is don't that not fair? Like... That's not you know, I mean, have you seen no, some of, have you seen some of Travis Scott's chains? No, I'm not saying but see okay, so what I'm saying is prior. Yeah. Like the yeah. way he is, like, you know what I mean? Like he's like I don't feel like he's that guy that's like, yo, you know what? It's, yeah, delayed. I'm about to very delayed. I'm about, Sorry, to, I'm about to spend I'm about to spend a couple of, couple of million dollars yeah. on this real quick. But um, uh, then again, you can't well, blame you someone else for how you <laughs> spend how he spends his money is on it. Him. I, and that's fair. And we can't blame a Kardashian for the shit you did. Well, you gotta blame the Kardashians for everything. Yeah, you, you do. do. You do. You do. You do. <laughs> they destroy. <laughs> they, they, they like meth. <laughs> you mean? They, they up there. You mean? They're close. They're close. Second. No, definitely. Exactly. They, they, they be ash by his socks. I mean, we can't. Like, we blame these for everything. But they can't Who made this nigga buy his socks? <laughs> but I mean, hey, good for him if he, if he could do it. And I ain't gonna lie to you, man. It was a, it's a tough truck. Yes, it's very nice. It is a nice job, but I'm, I'm not spending one point six. No, you, no, you killing them in that. That's yo, that's a rare. But, that that G, but after that, it got the butterscotch seats. The though. inside is crazy, nigga. One point six. Like I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm walking out of there with chunkless, nigga. I'm walking out with this with the slap <laughs> yeah, slippers, crazy. nigga. I don't give a fuck, nigga. Nah, 1. when I get in my car, I get in with shoes. No, nah, my nigga, one point six. I'm having my butt cheeks on the damn on the left. Oh, you know, with you. Yeah, it's gonna sit. Then after that, I'm gonna put the warm on just to keep butt cheeks warm, yeah. nigga. Oh, yeah. I think I see that shit with that. Oh hell yeah. I'll come out this shit with a scarf, nigga. A I'm scarf in boxes, nigga. I don't cool it. I'm not putting cool my feet. Cool it. Every time I get cool in, cool I'm taking my shoes 1. off. 1.6, nigga. 1.6. I'm taking my shoes off every time I get in. My nigga, I be every in there. Every time I get in. I be in there. 1.6. Let me ask you something. Let me ask. Okay, hold on. Hear me ask. Let me, uh, let me ask you this question. 1.6. You driving it? Hold on. No, no. This is a fair question, nigga. Yes. 1.6. Yes. Are you yes. driving it, my nigga? If I spend 1.6. Are you trying to look at him? Look at him. Look at him. I he, spend 1.6. Now he know. Now he's dollars. thinking about this real quick. Because I ain't going to lie. It'd be kind of ill if I was in the back seat. And I'm I with you, out, And I hop out with the scarf. Family Dollar down, nigga. Yeah, I'm talking Family Dollar up. Beater and Family Dollar with the tight boxes Facts. back in high school I had Facts. freshman year Facts. where I couldn't really, I couldn't really get the butterfly yeah, on. Two socks with the two stripes. Two socks, nigga, with the stripes, you, nigga. Right. And I'm like gonna be, be like, I mean, I'm not gonna drive a Maybach. Like the Maybach, oh, I'm not driving that. I'm not driving the Maybach. That's one car I'm not driving. But maybe the truck I can get away with. It's a truck. Maybach, I want somebody to open the door for me. The I'm rape, like, I want somebody to open the door the for me. Ghosts, the ghosts. You know what I'm saying? I'll, there's certain cars we want to be driven around. Here on the seal. I seen one. I seen one in Quincy the other day. Oh my god, all white. When it was drove by me, it was okay. so bright that it blinded me, and I knew I couldn't see it no more once it went by. I was like, ah, and I look, I'm like, damn, that's a Rolls Royce on it. Hmm, that's a ghost. Okay, I'm ghost. And it was a, it was a, it was a older Caucasian gentleman with gray hair. He didn't roll the windows down. He kept it cool. I mean, the city on you bitches. Yeah. I, I'm gonna go to the dealership and just be like, can I sit here? Oh, yeah. Nah, next time I'm in Miami, I'm definitely gonna do something dumb. God bless you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah hopefully I'm winning by that time I do it. Because... You winning now, you alive. All right, cool. Yeah. Next thing. You are right. You alive. alive. You alive, bro. I am precious cargo. <laughs> yeah, you are. You're Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord. <laughs> you know what I mean? the Bible verse? The right God, <laughs> not the Yeezy. The right God. There you yes. go. Yes. With you, Lord. <laughs> with, I can be. I'm with you, Lord. <laughs> Anything is possible. I'm not with that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that negative. Yeah, that negative. Yeah, okay. yeah, that that yeah, other nut yeah. ass. You <laughs> gotta be a nut ass. Yeah, only <laughs> out there fronting for BET Church. There you go. He <laughs> telling people, move out the way. This is my city. This nigga's over here trying to have a free <laughs> Watch this, this is my city. Ash was there, Ash was like this. Wait, 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 you moved there. out the way, didn't I you? Know. I know Ash was probably one of the fucking bodyguards with the black shirt behind him. You're not Ash. <laughs> Ash was in the back. With the dicky pants on, with the black shoes. See y'all, get the fuck out of here. High he had, too, man. I had, he had holes in his hoodie. Boots. <laughs> yeah, high tech boots. <laughs> yeah, your British knights on. <laughs> Yeah, your British knights was on. Fuck out of here. Yo, okay, listen. Enough's enough. Listen, travel. <laughs> like, we're going to talk a little bit about a little bit of travel, travel. Listen, Wild Air, new owner, wants to make flying fun again. So, in most recently, in most recent news, um, Wow is back in business, people. How? Yeah, Wow. So, um, <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Michelle Ballerines. Mm. 
Um, pretty much um, bought them out of bankruptcy, um, paid about $85 million, released all these planes, planes, and then she wants to make it fun again. I don't know if you guys may have heard, this was like episode, I want to say like 40, 42, no, 40, this yeah, 40 many, to 30, 40 no, this was like early summer. Yeah, it was like 38. Early summer, so um, early in the summertime, Wild Airlines out of nowhere, bro. Like, niggas was in the airport. <laughs> they went bankrupt. They was in the airport. Like, waiting to get in through, like, TSA. And it was like, yo, shut it down. And niggas like, fuck you mean, shut it down. Shut it down. You're done. We're done. We have people outside. Yo, we're done. So, in other words, yo, they shut down operations. Niggas had, yo, people, people were stranded. At the airport. At the air, nigga, like you about to get on your flight, nigga said, "Nah, what? Uh, we out of business, done, bro." What do you mean you're done, nigga? We out of business, bro. We close it, close down today. Get the fuck out of here, yeah. yo! This, this straight happened, up, bro. This happened a while ago. So how crazy is that, bro? How crazy? Like so now so so now I cry. Michelle Michelle pretty much um she rebooted the whole situation and um like now she million? wants now she wants to make you know Wild Airlines fun again. Wild was like the spirit of international overseas. Oh God, you can't get another one of the spirit oh, straight, bro. <laughs> Nigga, when you start seeing wallpaper, I'm like, what the fuck is that? I ain't gonna lie. That, you start seeing wallpaper and you start seeing spirit what? one time, I'll never do it again. Thanks. I'll never do it again. I'm good. My 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 neck back hurt. You know, really? I upgraded. It was horrible. <laughs> I felt like the packaging in a fucking condom box, nigga. Yo, no bullshit, bitch, like, nigga. like the three pack, nigga. nigga I'm just the whole time. Like, I'm not gonna move. I'm not gonna move. Yo, you niggas charge you to breathe in that bitch, nigga. Sorry. Like, yo, niggas. I ain't gonna lie to you, though. Like, but no, shout out to Wow. Um, you know what I mean? Um, you can throw us some tickets. We'll give them away. Trust me. Um, wow. Um, wow. No, I'm saying like, you know, what I mean, we love wow. to get people. Like, did know, someone else go out of it? Or oh, British, British something went out of airline. Yeah, uh, British what? Yeah, we talked about it last week. Last week no, not British Airways. They didn't no. go out of business. No, they just was, went on strike. Okay, yeah, they, yeah, went they, on strike. they they their market the market was like you know one hundred percent. Yeah, you know we know Ashton. Nah, British Airways they, they got clout, but, but we know Ashton. 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 Niggas got super clout. My bad, I wasn't. God bless. Um, okay. I was tardy. I have a little question. I was, okay, I was, this break question time. <laughs> What was that about? That was different. You know, was him. Weird, you know, I don't know what it is. I, I always know, feel like I always feel like he has like. A, can you just put that back and just pick something else? God um, <laughs> uh, guess we're on the we're not on the Danny Glover. Or we are on the Danny Glover. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no, no. This is lethal weapon. Go back to Jet Li. Go, go. <laughs> this nigga, what are you sipping? Cause of cars? What are you doing? <laughs> you want a straw, nigga? <laughs> um, <laughs> excuse me. All right, here goes the question. <laughs> You know, Jesus said, "Enjoy your drink." You gonna you gonna disrespect Jesus like that? Nigga, That's what you gonna just Jesus, disrespect Jesus? Jesus was drinking wine. Cause you know this nigga got his Yeezy socks. <laughs> Leave this nigga alone. <laughs> anyways, yo, here's a question. The question is this. Oh man, this is for the women. Oh god. Yeah. There we go. And this is about Takashi Six Nine. Oh well, this guy interesting. Now, shoot shot. I really want to know for 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 the women viewers out there. Would you date a man that's a rat? Like, are you the type of woman to be like oblivious to the whole thing? Or would you be the type of woman to be like, mm. like, you know, like, that's just my question. It's kind of like, would you, would you date a rat? Like, I'm not gonna lie. I've actually had a few women tell me earlier today before I asked this question and like, I'm all set. I, you know what? No, I I feel like I feel like I feel like you know what I mean. Consider consider we have no women on the planet, we can answer for them. I feel like a lot of females are just attracted to the attention. Ooh, attention! I feel like I feel like that's what that's. I would Snapchat. Nothing wrong with that. Let me drink this fucking Samuel Jackson liquor. Uh, <laughs> I just saw me even said, Judge, is that all? Takashi 69 and Tommy killed Angela Beltes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, man. That's hilarious to me. I'm sorry. Shout out to the women viewers here. Um, this is Opinion Consequences. My guy. How you doing? How you doing? Why did I squint like that? That was weird. You know, Dog Chocolate's in the building. They go, my other guy. All right, so the question is for you ladies. Would you date a rat? You know, y'all see Takashi out here running around with the 6 9 on the face. Hopefully y'all ain't dating him just because he's doing 69. Just, just wanted to know. 
Would you date a rat or not, ladies? Question of the night. Please, <laughs> let me know. <laughs> no, we gotta find out. We really gotta find out. Yo, they said so Fasfa and Sally Mae are part of the Nine Tree Bloods. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just reading some of these memes and they're hilarious. Yeah. I don't mean to be laughing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, go ahead. Go um, ahead. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, they got heat this coming. Wow. What, what are we saying? I couldn't do it. I don't know how women could do it, and if they could, God bless them. Go ahead. You, you, you go ahead and state that question again, sir. Huh? Do you want so me to? Some of consequences. Wow, this screen's amazing. Are we, are we live right now? Yeah, that's live. That's oh, Andrew, right. Hold on one second. Look, guys, listen, if you want to log in live real quick on Opinions and Consequences, we are live right there. You can talk your shit. Um, Ruben definitely has dandruff, so you could... Okay, I definitely it. don't have dandruff. Do you guys see these waves? That screen is popping. I feel like that's Free Willy was in these joints. Tell me that you love me. You are my friend. Yeah, yo, I ain't gonna lie. Yo, do you see how my eyebrows is on fleet on this? Yo, my bad. Stop. Uh, you know, anyways, Dominican um, Barber. Could, yo, he has stop. Barber. <laughs> yeah, he has yeah. Dominican Barber doing it. Yo, chill out, man. The guy got a Theo Huxable sweatsuit on over here. But anyways, yo, ladies and gentlemen, the question is for the women. Sorry, not for the gentlemen. Just for the women. Would you guys date a man that's a rat? Y'all know Takashi 6 ix is out here running around telling about everything, about what's going on in power, and anything else is going on. So please, let us know. Stop pausing it. Why am I pausing it? <laughs> Matter of fact. <laughs> yeah, yo, he's like that. Stop pausing I think, yo, I think honestly, 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 um, you know, just, just, to, just to let everybody know, um, so, so, Clinton, what do you think? What do you think about, like, you know... Um, I think I think a lot of women would say no, absolutely not. Um, essentially, it, it, a woman is a representation of a man, a man is a representation of a woman, and I think a lot of women would not want that on their on their you know on their resume. I mean, who who would want that type of situation with you know? I mean, you shouldn't care what people think, but at the same time, perception is reality, and people judge. And I don't think a lot of women would do that, even though there is attention from it. I think there's negative attention. You have to know when, what's the difference. That's all. Rosito. I feel like as a woman, if you decided to date a man that is a snitch, I feel like you're giving your pussy no value. Huh. And I'm thinking that you're giving your whole relationship no value. You have nothing to stand on because he's a rat and he's willing to do anything to stay alive. So that means he'll fuck your mom and say that your dad did it, even though your dad's been fucking her. So at the end of the day, what I'm trying to explain to you is this. He's a fucking rat and he doesn't give a fuck about you or anything else. He just wants to get home. So now look, for you to even date something like that means you he has no honor, no respect, no Comes nothing. You know what I mean? So that means he's not even gonna cherish you with respect and honor. You just another scallywag. Oh well, you said that. And the more and more this camera gets closer to me, Damn, it makes me so sick <laughs> if you would decide to do that to yourself. That was right up your nostril, shit. He was getting close. Felt like Bart Scott. <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't stop a nosebleed. They couldn't stop nothing, dog. <laughs> no, I do. I do agree. Um, my whole thing is just like with, with, especially like you know, with you want to date a rat. I should. I, I think we should put it on parameters. Like, is it before or after you find out you? I feel like either way, snitch, snitch. either way, either it's way. Either way. Well, I know it'd be more difficult for you because if you did find out after you guys had like a length of time where you guys are in love and this that and the third maybe you'd have to think about it and this that but at the end of the day i feel like you mean most of the times you hear all the bullshits in the streets regardless so you always find out about certain people who who's known to be rats and you hear it all the time like if you were liable to be dating that person then shit you ain't reliable either you ain't reliable mm -hmm. your damn self like you feel me like you if you willing to let that go, that just seems crazy to me. Cause I just feel like, yo, if you're dating a rat, you just know that you're dating somebody that just doesn't I'm give a fuck, but only about themselves. You're right. <laughs> That's it. You're right. So, I mean, at the end of the day, remember this for for most of the women that end up pretty much going away for guys. There's women. There's a lot of women that are incarcerated because they've been go they they took a fall for a dude. What you would call those a professional snitch? Who? Um, what's buddy name from um. Frank Lucas? Oh. Oh yeah, Frank Frank snitched on the cops though. No, yeah. not Frank Lucas thing. Um, Mr. Untouchable. Oh. Uh, 
Um, uh, Omar Epps played him. No, he's talking about. Oh, not Omar Epps. Um, any dude, Johnny Gooden, the Cuban Gooden Jr. I'm trying to think of his freaking name. The Black Godfather. Oh. Nicky Barnes. Nicky Barnes. Yeah, yeah. Nicky Barnes was a hoe. That nigga was a professional snitch. So this does. is, but this is my theory. Even ninety percent of all the real guys out here, that's the streets, they yeah. snitching too. And that's the sad part. Like, if when you looking at fifty years life, I don't think anybody. I don't think like a lot of guys would say, "Oh, I would never, I would never, I would never." So we have to take that into account because look how many gangsters have snitched. No, just, just do the no, no, just no. do the math on that. Let's just do that. That's simple. Well, no, no, because a lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of you know what I'm saying. You when you look at that, a lot, a lot of people. Yeah, yeah why you Bulger told? Why did Bulger snitch? So think why about it. Yeah, he was an informant. Like so, but my thing is, at the end of the day, my thing is, it's it does it doesn't matter on the time, or does it matter on the on the fact that other people are going to be living lavishly off of it. I think it's envy because other people didn't get caught, and you see that you're going to go down for something that they also did with you. And I think people take that envy and that hatred and that anger and they just redirect it towards, well, you know, if I'm going down, all of us going down. Yeah, like, oh, like who's the who's the prime example? Is that uh, that gentleman at uh, Epstein? Was that his name? That was in jail? Oh, oh um, Epstein, the one that and he said, got killed. I'm going to start telling oh, look what, look, they got rid of that real quick. Pretty much. Oh, they, 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 the warden, the uh, warden. For the, women, for the women that do, I mean, I that do date yeah. a guy that is a rat, I just want to let you know that you might be taking a fall for him. There's a lot of women that are incarcerated because of that. Oh, what the fuck? Whoa. He's yeah. For the women who do decide to date a guy that is a rat, I feel bad for you because you'll be taking the fall for him. There's a lot of women that are locked up in prison systems because of men that are supposed to be men and honorable, but they decide to have their lovely lady take the rap for him because they're just a rat-ass nigga. <clears throat> it's a sad world we live in. But please, ladies, date a cheater instead of a rat, please. Oh, <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I don't really mean that at all. Just Listen, guys, right definitely, guy. definitely voice you guys' opinion that opinions and consequences. Tag us, whatever. Do a do the extra stuff. Um, we got do we do have um one more extra question at the end of the night. Um, but um, stay tuned for that one. We're gonna get on to our last topic. So, for all the listeners out there, and um. Viewers at home, uh, you heard it here first. Don't date a snitch. Don't oh, date a rat. Date um, a rat you know, snitch. if you if it listen, if it's different if you don't know, but if you know, that's that's what I think. Yeah. You know, if you're dating a rat, you're a mouse. Listen. You're dating Good a bar. rat. You're a mouse. Good bar. Yeah. I'm not, that's different. Raybex. Pull shit. We got it too. Uh, yeah, please pull some up, man. All right, so listen, we're going to get right into the sports area of this conversation. You know how people, you know, over here, whatever. All right, so listen, guys, Martin Luther King. You heard of him, right? Mine uh, had a dream. Mine had a dream. You split my... Uh, no. You don't sound like Jay-Z. No, right, sorry, yeah. Yeah. Martin Luther King the third, people. The third, not the second. The third. Um... Boycott the NFL until Kaepernick signs. Yes, people, you heard it first here. Uh, Martin Luther King III tells TMZ Sports Colin Kaepernick could be back in the NFL overnight if fans just straight up stop supporting the league until the QB is signed. Uh, okay, good luck. What would change it overnight is the public um, is if the public decided. Okay, we're not going to watch. MLK three says. Um, of course, MLK. I can't, I can't say MLK 3. King the Third knows that's unlikely, but he's saying drastic measures need to be taken in order to lead to stop blackballing the 31-year-old once and for all. The industry did blackball him, which is not good, MLK says. Um, he's certainly one of the most talented quarterbacks even today, probably. Good news for MLK 3. There are plenty of teams looking for a quarterback this week. Pittsburgh just lost ben, uh, Big Ben. For the year, St. Um, Saints, Saints lost Drew Brees out for the next two months with a thumb injury. And a just starter, Sam Sam Darwell, back row Trevor Simeon are both out. It's unclear if any team, any of these three teams have the eye on cap. But um, MLK 3, I feel, I feel like it's Mortal Kombat 3. Like, no bullshit. Um, certainly hoping so. Um, there are times that there needs strategic quarterbacks who... 
who have a proven record. King the, King the Third says, and certainly Colin Kaepernick is one of those. What do you think about this? Are we reaching? Like, like, uh, are we done with the cap wave? Are we done with it? Are we done? I just don't get it. No are we done? Not that we're done, but people just did what they always do. They move on to the next thing. They just have Do you want to see Cat play again? I kind of do. I honestly do. He's more talented than a lot of these dudes. My nigga, I really, I'm not losing sleep, bro. Yeah, well. I'd like to see Cat play again, but I'd like to. The day, like, They're not going to. It ain't going to kill me if he did, bro. That's what I'm saying, though. Like, my thing is just like this. Like, I, I you know, I, I respect the man's talent. My thing should be like this. He should not want to play anymore. Yeah. I'm the, your, 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 your employer blackballed you. Okay. No, not blackballed you. Whiteballed you. Because huh. there's no black owners. Yeah, there ain't no black owners. Exactly. Exactly. So white they whiteballed you. you. Exactly. They whiteballed you and you want to go back and do what? Like, there's so much more pressure on that man coming back because guess what? If he doesn't perform up to par, they was like, you did all this for what? You feel me? Like you ain't you ain't coming back. Like you know, it's sad to say. It's it's like it's it's a difference if like it was Vic. Vic came in.